in this video I'll show you some basic gestures that you can use on the trackpad of your MacBook Air M2. So let's get started. Well, I always suggest you to open system preference before beginning this. You're going to click on the top left corner here where the Apple logo is, you're going to select six system preferences and you're going to go on trackpad. And here we'll be able to see all the gestures that you can do with the trackpad. So let's start with the first one and just make sure they are checked. This way you know that they will actually work. And if you don't like one of these and you may activate it uh, by mistake, you can always uncheck a certain gesture, gesture here and this way it won't be active on your MacBook Air. Let's start one of the most basic one which is secondary click. This means, you know, on the mouse you have a right click and a left click. Well, let's say you want to use the right click with the trackpad. How you can do this is simply by tapping two fingers at the same time, whatever you want. So to demonstrate this, let's say I want to copy uh, this text here. Don't take it lightly. All you have to do is to select it by keeping press and dragging uh, to the right. And then to right click, use two fingers and press on the trackpad. And this will be like the right click. You'll be able to select whatever options you want here. Copy and you're going to paste it whatever you want. Now, another option that I think it's quite useful and it's not uh, available by default is tap to click. To activate it, check the box here. This will mean that you won't be, uh, you won't need to press completely on the trackpad, you know, to feel the small vibration. You just need to gently tap the same way, the same way you tap on your iPhone, you know, you, you just have to press once, you know, just to tap, tap on the screen while this is the same thing with the trackpad. You just need to tap whatever you want to go. You know, let's say I want to hear, just tap. You don't need to press completely on the trackpad. Another useful gesture is to scroll, you know, on any web page up and down. You just need to have two fingers and simply dragging it up and down on the trackpad. The same way you'll use one finger on your iPhone here, you need to use two and simply go up and down. This is under scroll and zoom tab here, scroll direction. There's also zoom in and zoom out. Let's say you're on a website here and you want to zoom in on something. Let's say something is actually too small. All you have to do is to pinch with two fingers the same way as you're doing on your smartphone. You just have to pinch and to zoom in and it will zoom in this way. And you can zoom out by doing the contrary. So pinch and pinch the trackpad to zoom in and you just have to do the contrary to zoom out. This works as well when you're looking at pictures on your MacBook Air. Just have to do the same. Whoop. Just have to do the same gesture here to make it bigger or pinch out to uh, zoom out. Another useful gesture that you can use when browsing the web, let's say um, I'm on this page, I'm clicking here and I want to go back to the previous page. Well, obviously you can click the small icon here to go back, but you can also use two fingers and to swipe to the right side and you'll go back to the previous page you were viewing. And it works also the other way. So if I uh, swipe with two fingers on the left side, I'll go back on the, the page I was on. Okay, so this works quite well and you won't have uh, to touch these icons ever again. This works uh, as well if you have multiple apps open in full screen. You'll just need to use three fingers this time and do the same gesture. Okay, just swiping and you'll be able to swipe between all your open apps that are uh, on full screen. You know, so here I have Safari, I have the calendar here, I have uh, Apple TV and with three fingers at the same time swiping, it's working this way. Another feature if you want to access your notification center is to swipe with two fingers on the right side of the trackpad. So swipe left from uh, the right side of the trackpad and the notification center will pop out this way. 
but you absolutely need to do it on this side of the trackpad. If I'm doing it here, nothing happens. If I'm doing it here, then this appears. If you have multiple apps open, okay, and you want to access the desktop because you have files on it, let's say, obviously you can minimize uh, the windows and it will take a long time to access it. Or you can take four fingers and open them up, you know, this way on the trackpad. Let me show you like this and it will show the desktop. You'll be able to take a file, do whatever you want to go and and when you're ready to put back uh, the apps as they were before, just take four fingers and bring them all together this way. Another option is if you have multiple apps open again, like here, if you want to show all every window that is open separately, so you know, uh, so you have a better idea what is open, take three fingers and swipe up at any time and every windows open will show up and you can switch from one to another by clicking on uh, on a certain window. So you can do this. I want this picture to be first. Three fingers up, swiping up. This one. If you want to access the launch pad, the launch pad, by the way, is this, where all your apps are, you know, uh, without going and clicking over here, you can simply use three fingers here plus your thumb and bring everything together and the launch pad will show automatically and you will be able to open an app that you wanted. If you want to quit here, just do the contrary. Okay, so with your thumb and three fingers together and the launch pad will show. So these were some basic gestures that you can use on your MacBook Air M2. Please leave a like, uh, comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.